Welcome to an Oracle S-Base Studio walkthrough. My name is Mark Weinzimmer. Let's begin. First, today we're going to talk about what is S-Base Studio. Our next video will be on data source connections and mini schemas. We'll then talk about dimension elements and hierarchies. After that, alias sets and cube schemas. We'll then discuss S-Base properties and cube deployment before finally drill through reports. So let's begin. You may be wondering, what is S-Base Studio? Well, it's Oracle's next generation product. And by that, I mean it combines EAS with EIS. It does so by combining, by creating a console for the development and maintenance of S-based cubes that also provides for drill through reporting. Once you log in, you can see the welcome screen. On the right, you see the data source navigator that holds our mini schema as well as our data source connections. On the left, we have the Metadata Navigator, which has our members, hierarchies, alias sets, drill through reports, and cube schema. In the middle, we have our workspace. And on the bottom, we have the console messages if there's an error or warning. OK, let's continue. What does SBase Studio do? It's the perfect environment for data modeling and cube designing. For example, what is data modeling? SBase Studio allows you to create joins that are predefined in our mini schema using a relational table from your source. It also allows you to transform members, create hierarchies, and then combine hierarchies, edit your S-based properties, and launch your cube. How is S-based Studio different? It provides a consistent platform for building the outlines and loading data. It provides one wizard-driven interface which has four wizards, a data source wizard, mini schema wizard, cube schema wizard, and cube deployment wizard, as well as four wizard-like guides on hierarchies, measure hierarchies, drill through reports, and alias sets.